Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a win. Opponents mulligan. We have a good hand. This time. This time for sure. And it appears to be the mirror. The mirror. Play against two red decks, two Jeskai decks, possibly. Okay, Stoke is not necessarily what we're looking for. I think we want to just bottom it. Since an untapped land would be good. And our opponent's mulligan, mulligan screwed. The, the, the greedy mana base is really hurting us for these matchups. I'm not a big fan. Much prefer basics and tap lands to too many pain lands. That is a good draw. Allows us to go Mantis Rider next turn. Opponent pondering his options. Do I concede now? Do I bluff the land that I'm slow rolling it? Do I rage into chat? Do I wander off and make myself a sandwich? These are the things that moto players think about. Why shuffle it? Why? Oh, this is an upkeep. <sighs> Dream King fell asleep. Okay, and our opponent comes back and concedes. Let's just go ahead and assume the mirror. There are also some other options it could be, but unlikely. Do the standard sideboard, worry about the early game, and then once we're past that, worry about the late game with the digs and the counters. Okay. 
this hand is good. Hmm. I guess that's our game plan. We have two good answers here. Start cracking these since we'll want them for dig through time and thinning our library. Jetted. Let's see if this guy wants to play anything. We don't have a counter threat if he does. Now it looks like he's going to, which I believe is the wrong play since if we did have a follow up, he would be in a bad spot. We should always wait, especially in a situation like that. Dissolves a good draw here. We're almost up to dig, and we can almost cast Granos. Okay, he's just uh, gonna slam that. Let's see if we can find an untapped land. Let's go for the Gusto. There we go. Our last island. Adding in the extra basic is actually pay paying off. My Pro Tour list only had three of these to fetch. Now, what is your plan for Granos? That is not going to be good enough. Um, there's not really a good reason to Mantis Rider here, since the way we die is from him playing another dude. We have the supreme late game advantage, so if there's anything we can do to stop him from hitting us with dudes, we should take that advantage, take that line, doesn't matter which stuff you delve away, um, probably want dig and stroke, counter any stokes he has, or sarkins, and allows us to find more counter spells with the dig. Actually, in a little bit of danger. Fortunately, his that card shouldn't be a burn spell. Okay, that's perfect. We can just keep juggling that to the top while we get infinitely ahead. And we got there, won a match. Hot dog. Anyways. Yeah, so 
the list. I am not really liking the nullifies and not really liking the brimazes that much. Both are great cards, but I think focusing on the mana base and being able to cast your spells is the most important thing. Possibly one or the other is good, like if you cut the nullifies and then go down to like two digs, it's probably worth it to run Brimaz since it is very powerful. Or you could just cut the Brimazes, possibly the Seeker, and focus on the digs and nullifies, but having both is just too much of a problem, I think, especially with Mono Red running around. As it stands, possibly this list is decent against Abzan, but I wouldn't really recommend it. It doesn't seem like it would be that great, that much of an improvement. Focus on sort of either the white or the blue. And yeah, I guess that's Jeskai.